What's up YouTube? It's Garage Tuned Orlando here, and I'm gonna show you how to install a traction control button on your VW Jetta. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna want to do is take your plastic puller and you wanna take out this plastic piece here. You just stick it under there and you pull it up. And then you remove it. Put it on the other seat. Second thing, take the other one that has this little bill here. You wanna put it under here. Shove it under there and it should go under and then pull up. Do it that time. Pull up. Take the other one that's flatter. And stick it under there. You can just slide it across. And it pulled up those clips. See? Now you have some movement. So now what you want to do is take it from here and you can pull up. And once you pull up, there you go. Second, what you're going to want to do is take your Torx T15 screwdriver and you're going to undo these two screws right here. There's one right here and the other one is on this side. One. That's two. Now it should lift up like this, and you can push your traction control button through these slots. Chose the first one because that would be easiest to cut the trimming for. See? Fits. So after you've done the wiring and putting the trim pieces back together, you're going to have to come into the driver's seat and plug in the OBD-11 that I purchased off of Deutsch's Auto Parts. And you're going to want to plug it into your OBD port for to program the traction control button. So once you purchase your OBD-11 and you open up the box, you're going to take it and plug it in to your OBD sensor down here. There. there you go. And it should give you a red light. Once you have it plugged into the OBD port, you're going to want to launch the app that way you can get all the diagnostics from your car and so you can do the long coding for the traction control button to work. I'm going to go launch the app so I can show you how to do the programming. And then I've already made my account and connect to the car but for those of you who have not I suggest you make account and then once you make an account you're going to want to turn the ignition on in your car, press connect and then it will find your car and you're gonna go through all the settings to set it up. Once you're done with that, you're gonna go down here to the bottom right and hit these three bars. Once you hit the three bars, you're gonna go down to Central Electrics. You're gonna let that load. Once that loads, you're gonna to wanna to go to Long Coding. You're gonna press OK. And you guys are going to get a banner that says to put in a code. The code will come with the OBD11 box and you're going to put in that code and it's a one time use only code. So if you use it on that one account, you cannot log in to another account and use that code. Once you're in long coding, you're going to go to byte 00 in the top left hand corner in the white banner and you're going to type in 17 and then you're gonna go down to bit 3 which is horn with terminal 15 off and you're gonna uncheck that once you're uh, once you uncheck that you're gonna hit the bottom right arrow twice one two and you're gonna go to bit five bit four and you're gonna 
undo lamp diagnostics for turn signal. You're gonna unactivate that and you're gonna activate lamp diagnostics for fog lights and cornering lights. And after you do that, you should have your long coating for your traction control device. I will be leaving a how-to and instructional in the description. So once you're done doing your long coating, you press and hold the green circle. I've already done the coating, so it's going to say coating not changed. But once you're done, you're going to go and press that. It's going to ask you to change it. And then you're going to take your key off, start the car up to reset the ECU. And your traction control button should be set to go. Like and subscribe on this video if you want more content. And let me know. What can I improve on?